say, Tarzan. Well, it wrote that surely meant business. Look how carefully it was to put that period where it belonged. I guess we won't have a powwow with that, Gent. Come on. That's funny. He surely ain't very far, Tarzan. Must be just plum unsociable. I guess the hombre that named this Tombstone Canyon sure knowed what he was doing, all right. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Tarzan. Oh. Couple more slow down to bring him out of there. But be careful and don't hurt that horse. I'm a wanting him for myself. Lay down. You fools! You bumped that horse off! through the shoulder. My gun arm's ruined. Carson, if it hadn't been for that stranger having us out, I guess you'd have had a new master. Huh? Just a minute. Turn around. I want to get a look at you. Listen, lady. That trigger finger of yours is mighty nervous. Would you mind moving that thing over just a little bit that way? All right. Ken? Ken? Well, how come you know my name? I've never been in this part of the country before. Your friend Luke Wally told me. He's expecting you. My name's Jenny Lee. That's a mighty pretty name. I'm mighty glad to know you. But I... I don't see how Luke could describe me. I haven't seen him since I was a small boy. He didn't. I just took a chance. Then would you help me out? Gee, thanks, Miss Lee. But I sure intend to meet up with them hombres again. Uh, Luke's been sick. He told me to keep a lookout for you. I'll show you to his cabin. It's just outside Tombstone Canyon. Thanks a lot. Come on, boy. Here. Come on.
was the cry of the Phantom Killer. It's that cry that gave Tombstone Canyon its name. I sound more like a varmint to me. When that cry is heard, somebody always dies. Oh, I'd like to meet up with that Phantom Feller. Maybe he's one of the gang that tried to get me. I don't think so. His victims have always been men so far, connected with the Lazy S. First it was Hank Collins, then Judd Stevens. Both those men had been working for Alf Sykes ever since he took over the outfit. I see. Please, let's be going. All right. Coming in? Not right now. I promised to make Daddy here. All right. He's been murdered. Ken, this is my father, Colonel Lee. How do you do, sir? Is there anything we can do for Luke? Nothing. He's done for. I'm going in to report to Matt, the sheriff. Bye. I do. Sheriff in his office? What do you want to see him for? I reckon if there's any of your business, the sheriff will tell you. Well, he ain't here. Now, this ain't my day. Hey, Barkeep. How are you? Who's sheriff around this man's town? Mort Langley. Why? Seen him recent? No, I haven't. But he'd be drifting in most any time now, checking up as usual. I see. Have a little drink? Yeah.
Hombres. Feel like finishing what you started this morning? This maverick must be local. Yeah, plum hostile, ain't he? Yeah. Yellow, huh? Now look at here, cowboy. If you're mean to me, I'll... Easy there, cowboy! What's all the row about? Ah, oh, this maverick's hog wild, Sheriff. He's been trying to pick a gunfight with us. What do you got to say, cowboy? These three pole cats tried to dry gulch me, Sheriff. I got that one in the arm, and you'll find a bullet hole in the other one's hat. Where did all this happen? Out in Tombstone Canyon. Got any witnesses? Uh, yes, I... My horse seen it. Oh, he's local, Sheriff. You know how I get that hole through my hat. You better come along with me, cowboy. Them boys got busted up in a friendly little argument out at the ranch this morning. Got witnesses to prove it, too. The lion, Sheriff. Listen, the... cowboy, there's no use arguing. Their alibi's plenty good, and I ain't taking no stranger's word against them. Come on. All right, Professor. All right, give us a over here, boy. Well, I see you found him. You can go up to your room, Jess. I want to have a talk with this stranger before I lock him up. All right, Sheriff. Sit down, son. I'm plenty anxious to hear your side of this story. Well, Sheriff, seeing as how I'm under arrest, I ain't talking. Now, who said you was under arrest? I didn't take your shooting iron, did I? That's just my way of not letting my right hand know what my left doing. What is your real name? I don't know. This letter will explain why I'm here. I'll ride on over to old Luke's with you. I haven't seen the old dude in a month. Luke, well, he's dead. Murdered. I'll tell you all about it, Sheriff. And I got plenty of witnesses as to what happened today. Looks like whoever killed Luke knows you was coming and plugged him to keep him from talking. Yeah, but who could be interested in me or what I might learn? All I want to find out is who I am, who my folks were. You know, Luke was a pretty queer old fella. I've been wondering if he could have been the Phantom Killer. Nah. He wrote about that hombre in one of his letters. Seems like this killer only makes war on the Lazy S outfit. Yep, plugged two of the old hands already and sent word to Newt and Alpha they'd be next. Who is this fellow Newt? Oh, he's been ramrodding the lazy ass ever since Judge Stevens got drilled. <whistles> Boy, I better be phoning my wife. You know, she's gonna give me the dick of being late for supper like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sheriff, I'll be running along. I'll probably be working for Colonel Lee, in case you want to get a hold of me. Keep an eye on that Lazy S gang, Ken. They're plumb hostile to that Lee outfit. Thanks a lot, Sheriff. Be seeing you.
Well, hello, Ma. Uh, Ma, listen, I, uh, but, but listen, Ma, but, uh, but, uh, but, Ma, listen, uh, but I, I, uh, sweetheart. Number I'm going to drill you right between the eyes. Come into town a craving trouble, huh? Killer. Well, come on, fill your hand. I know he'd do something like that. Uh, strangers, plenty salty. Andy, Sheriff. Are you interested in what happened to the other Rumbry? Oh, no. I guess he had it coming to him all right. Didn't he, fellas? Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, he, so I reckon sure. he did. Oh, come on. I'll buy a drink. So long, Sheriff. got along fine this time, didn't we, Daddy? Yep. If I just had another boy like Ken, I could let all the rest of them go and I'd never miss them. Well, that's the last calf. I guess we better start dehorning. You ain't gonna rope them big heavy critters, are you? Why not? Pretty tough work for a girl. Ain't you tired? How could I be? With you to work with. Gee, Miss Jenny. You spill a kind of a mean loop yourself, more ways than one. You got me just as good as throwed and hog tied already. That makes me awfully happy, Ken. Do you mean that? Of course. Then let's go into town and more and get the ring. All right. Morning, Miss Lee. Hi, Ken. Hi, Sheriff. I'm just on my way over to the ranch to see you. The guy in news, Sheriff, he can speak right out plain. See, uh, me and Miss Lee here aim to get married. What name you planning to use? My own, Sheriff. I've been doing investigating since I've been working for Colonel Lee. Did you find out anything for sure? Yeah. If somebody over at the Lazy Ass can tell me everything I want to know. How come? Well, seems like one of the Colonel's boys heard Luke Wally telling Alf Sykes I was coming. Kind of worried that gent considerable. Sounds mighty interesting, considering that Alf Sykes signed this warrant for your... Claims you shot up one of his roundup camps last night and drove all the cattle off into Tombstone Canyon. Only proves my suspicions. Alf Sykes knows old Luke's secret. I'm gonna make him talk a plenty. Well, I'll just pretend I didn't see you. Providing you promise not to smoke Alf up any. He's no gunfighter anyhow. I promise, Sheriff. There's my hand.
Why did you kill Luke Wally? You didn't see it. You can't prove it. Show yourself and we'll shoot it out. The Phantom. Toss that gun aside, Sykes, if you want to live. Where did you come from? You killed old Luke to prevent him telling me something. What was it? So? You're the phantom killer, eh? Come on, talk fast, Sykes. Who was my dad? I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't shoot. I'll talk. Hey, Dan, open up. It's me, Clem. Now, shoot if you want to. Remember, remember, the secret goes with me. I'm stepping in that next room, Sykes. Till they're gone. One word out of you and I shoot. And I won't miss. What's the matter, man? Open the door. He must be here. There's his horse. What's the matter, Dad? Did your plan work, Ken? Your imitation of the Phantom's cry was perfect. They mustn't see us together. You hide back there in the trees till they go by. Then drift into town, meet me at the sheriff's. All right, Ken. We gotta find him quick, boys. It'll be sundown soon, and well, I ain't craving to be around here when I can't see. Yeah, I'll stay here and guard the entrance in case he tries to double back. It's time we settled up. Listen. 
Listen, boys. What's the matter? I thought I heard a shot. You all can stay here and learn if you want to. I'm leaving now. Same here. Give me that note, son. Is it any different than the other two? That ain't any of your business, Skeeter. Reckon we should plant poor old Newt hereabouts? No. No, we're, we're taking him to town. I'm going to let the sheriff fight it out with this phantom killer. Well, boy, it's getting pretty late. Guess we'll just camp in Luke's cabin. Don't move, Phantom. Take that gun out, easy like. Drop it down. Careful there, old timer.
see, Tarzan. I'm plumb ashamed of myself, boy. That hombre had the strength of a dozen men, honestly did. Good morning, Miss Lee. Good morning, Sheriff. Have you heard anything from Ken yet? No, and I don't suppose I will, considering how the town's all stirred up over his plugging old new. I'm sure he didn't do it, Sheriff. Let me tell you what happened at the Lazy S. <laughs> Well, how come you're so excited about it? Well, Sykes offered a thousand dollars reward for him, dead or alive. I aim to collect that dough. I'm going to get in on some of that myself. <laughs> aim to tie up with a posse, cowboy? I don't know. Maybe so. What are you doing to them handcuffs? Well, I, I figured I might need them. No, we won't. I figure on bringing him in feet first. Oh, come on, let's go. Well, where do you reckon he's right out at? See him up there, Phantom. Got him. That's what he said. All right, boys. Keep him covered. Watch yourself, boys. I'm shooting if he bats an eye. He walks right into a trap. That's <laughs> Well, don't stand there like a fool. Go on, lock him up. You better have another cell ready for him, as you're going to need it when the sheriff gets here. Well, come on. Come on. Oh, Sheriff, you better come a-running. We got the Phantom Killer locked up in jail. He rode into town plumb blazing like, and there's a heap of talk about a necktie party. Well, you can see he didn't give me any reason to shoot. Well... There ain't going to be no trial, no harm. Mm -hmm. Come on. I tell you folks, this sheriff of ours is losing his grip. Three of my best men shot, and me threatened with death, and nothing done about it. I tell you, I tell you, it's time that we took the law into our own hands. Wait a minute, folks. I want you to listen to me for just a minute. This town has prospered because we've always had respect for law and order. And I'm appealing to you now to let the law take its course. Now you listen to me, Alf. You're talking too much for your own good. Now you back me up to this crowd, or I'll lock you up pronto. Folks, I... I reckon we were a little mite hasty. The sheriff's right. The law should be respected. And... Oh, just forget what I said, and we'll let the sheriff settle it. All right, come on, boys. It's all over now. Scatter out. Try your little drink. All right, come on. Bring it up now. Bring it up. Scatter out there. You'll find him in there, Miss Lee. Scatter that crowd and don't let them get together again. Don't worry, honey. It's all going to turn out all right. Ken, you're in a tough spot. There's five men that all swear they saw you kill Newt. 
They're lying, Sheriff. It was a phantom killer did it. I know, boy, but you can't prove it. And law is law. But we can prove that Alf Sice confessed to the shooting of Luke Wally. Sheriff, you put Al Sykes in his cell with me and I'll bet we get a confession. Quick. Oh, Anna. I can't let you out, Ken, on account of this murder charge. But I'll try and figure out some way of tricking Alf into a confession. I think you're plumb innocent. Thanks, Sheriff. I reckon we better go, Miss. Couldn't you let him out of Dad put up bail money? Well, now, that might be arranged. I'll have to speak to the judge about it. Well, you see what you can do, and I'll go back and talk to Dad. All right, Miss Lee. All right. Bye. Get out of there. the street. Some of you scatter over there. Come on, let's get him out of here. What's the matter, honey? Oh, Daddy, something terrible has happened. Ken is in jail. In jail? Come on over here. I want to tell you all about it.
Looks like Skeeter's done for, fellas. There he goes! I think that's the ranch, boy. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, get up! Hey, look, fellas! Hold up in these rock summers, boys. Keep your eyes peeled. Do you have any luck? No. Ah! He stampeded our horses. We've got to get him now. Daddy, look! Here comes Tarzan! Whoa, boy. Look, here's a handkerchief. What? Why, there's something written on it. I'm in trouble. Come quick. Tombstone Canyon. Ken. Ken's in trouble, boys. Mount up. Drop them firearms. Come on, boys, I've got him.
the matter, you? You're tired, son? Plenty. You needn't be uneasy, boys. You are guests in my home. And you'll all be set free as soon as I can settle with Alf Sight. Nations all the boys. This place, it's plum spooky. Drop those guns. Your time has come, Al Sykes. Where are you taking me? Up top there, where I can make a noose out of that rope. <laughs> Go on. Careful, Dad. Careful. If you have to do this, I don't see why you brought us way up here. I wanted you to get as near to heaven as you'll ever be. I want God to hear your confession. <laughs> uh, I ain't got nothing to confess. Look at me, Al Sykes. Twenty-five years changed me, along with what you have done. Matt Daly, a lie! Yes. Matt Daly, your stepbrother, alive. You and your cutthroat friends thought you would kill me, shot me from behind, then stabbed my face in so as no one could recognize me. It was Newt that did the stabbing, uh, Matt. Yes, well, Newt paid for it. Only a few days ago, but he recognized me first, just as the other two did before him. Go on and shoot if you want to. Yes. We'll get it over with. Something else I want to learn first. What become of my boy? He died right after your wife did. Uh, well, I couldn't take care of two brats, and besides, he was always sick. You let him die, you whelp. So you could get the lazy earth for yourself and your own boy. You can have it back if you let us go. An eye for an eye. And a son for a son. No, 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 Matt! Matt, your son is alive! I, I swear it! He's, he's hereabouts. He's working for Colonel Lee. Luke, Luke Wally got track of him and wrote him to come. Well, son, you killed Luke. You killed him to keep... Keep him from talking. For telling my boy that the lazy earth really belonged to him. Now come along. Get along there. Oh. 
All these years, I've been in a sort of daze, thinking only of revenge. Shooting quick, because they said I was loco. <laughs> you fool! You shot your own son! Let me look at you. My son. Oh, I've waited so many, many years just, just for this. You try and not think too hard of your old dad. He tried. Why, that must be my dad, Matt Daly. Ken, 